Voa, 12th of March 2024, India and China argue about Modi's trip to the Himalayan state. China is currently attempting to invade Indian territory and unlawfully occupy Tibet, the Chinese glass heart cannot withstand being labeled a liar. China objected to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's recent visit to the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh, which Beijing claims are its territory, but India has rejected Beijing's complaints. The argument is the most recent escalation in the four-year military standoff between the two nations, which doesn't appear to be ending anytime soon. China lodged its diplomatic complaint against Modi's visit the day before. Still, according to India's Foreign Ministry spokesman Randir Jaiswal, Chinese objections do not alter the fact that Arunachal Pradesh was and will always be an essential part of India. On Saturday, Modi traveled to the Himalayan state to officially open a two-lane tunnel constructed at 4,000 meters. The tunnel will expedite the transit of soldiers and military equipment to the border state, where both countries have gathered forces, and offer a year-round transportation link to the isolated area. He also unveiled several additional infrastructure initiatives, such as the construction of roads and the production of electricity. As tensions with China linger along their 3,500-kilometer border, New Delhi is also rushing to finish several other infrastructure projects, including roads and bridges in the Himalayas. The visit of the Indian leader to Arunachal Pradesh, which Beijing refers to as Zhangnan, was strongly deplored and firmly opposed, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin told reporters on Monday. India has no right to develop the area of Zhangnan in China arbitrarily, he said. The speaker declared that India's pertinent actions will only exacerbate the boundary dispute and disturb the situation in the border areas between the two countries. India disregarded China's objections. Indian leaders occasionally visit Arunachal Pradesh during their trips to other Indian states. According to Jaiswal, objecting to these trips or India's development initiatives is illogical. Although China has opposed Indian leaders visiting Arunachal Pradesh, regional tensions have risen over the past year. India protested to Beijing in August last year after learning that China had published a new map that included the state. Beijing renamed 11 locations in the state, including peaks and rivers, in April of last year. Following their army's skirmish in 2020 on the western side of their border in Ladakh, which resulted in the deaths of 20 Indian and 4 Chinese soldiers, relations between the two Asian superpowers reached their lowest ebb in 60 years. Since then, thousands of soldiers have been stationed along each side's border supported by tanks, artillery, and fighter jets. At a media conference on Monday hosted by the newspaper Indian Express, Indian Foreign Minister Subramani Yamjayashankar stated, This tension that we have seen for the last four years has not served either of us well. Therefore, it is in our best interests to address it as quickly as possible. I remain fully dedicated to achieving a just and reasonable conclusion. Analysts claim that the two sides' attempts to defuse the situation have failed. Despite the withdrawal of troops from five areas of conflict, there are still a lot of soldiers stationed near the border. Manoj Joshi, distinguished fellow at the Observer Research Foundation in New Delhi, states that ties between India and China continue to be cold and despite 21 rounds of talks between their military commanders since the 2020 clash to discuss withdrawal of troops, there are no signs of a wider pullback.